Hi, uh, my name is Richard. This is my second talk on Viata routers. Um, this one's going to be on um, Viata and its use of Open v VPN Server. That's the the lab we're going to do today. It's quite a simple one actually. We've only got two routers this time. Um, one of them is going to um, well, they're not going to do much configuration on that one. We've got some NAT to do, and um, I think that's pretty much it. But it's it's designed more as a uh, connection to the internet for, to to test internet connectivity. Um, but the, the main function of that is just NAT. That there is the actual Open VPN server that we're going to be concentrating on today. Okay, so let's start it up. I've already downloaded the uh, open, um, sorry, the Viata appliance. Um, you can see my other video if you want to see where I got that from. We're going to call this Viata VPN Lab, I think. Um, just as a just to let you know, that machine and that machine there is going to be running Windows XP. This is going to be the client pretending to be a, a road warrior or a, um, a remote employee. Um, this is simulating, kind of simulating them coming through the internet. So any tunnels are established, are tunneling through this router here, um, and this is the server they want to be accessing. I don't want to do Windows XP yet. I'm going to clone the Viata appliance first. Uh, we'll call this router 10. As I said before, I, I like to keep, keep all the um, VMs that are a member of the team within the same directory. New clone of virtual machine. Select the appliance. Next, next, next. This one here is going to be called VPN1. Path is incorrect. I want to change it to that. Okay, so there are the two routes done. Now I need the workstation and I also need the uh, server done as well. These are pre-built um, images of XP. They've got some configuration on. I think I've set the IP address and that's about it from another lab. Next one, let's call it because that's the the function we want to access. There's a we will be installing uh, IIS on um, on the server so that the when the remote warrior, if you like, dials in or remote VPNs in, he can access that as the service that he we're pretending that he wants to access. Okay, how many LAN segments do we want? One, two, three. Uh, in case you're wondering why that one is a LAN segment, um, OpenVPN creates its own um, virtual subnet, if you like, but it doesn't require a um, an, an interface, a physical interface, as opposed to to these two here, which it does. So we need one LAN, two LANs, three LANs. I won't do the set them up and pick the things. There we go. I just need, I just need to uh, name them now. Okay, this one here, should we call this R10 LAN? We'll call this one VPN 1 LAN. And we're going to call this one VPN 1 to R10. So VPN 1 to R10. Okay. Right, now we've got to select then next. So we want the first one on um, router 10. I like that going, we want that to be bridged. We want to be bridged to the right interface, so I'm have to change that in a second. Next one we want to go to um, router 10's LAN. Let's just check, okay, router 10's LAN. And the third one we want to go to VPN 1. We don't want it to go to VPN1's LAN, we want it to go to the link between VPN1 and R10, so there. Okay, VPN1, 
we want that to go to the link between VPN1 and router 10 the next one we want to go to it's only got two so VPN1 LAN and the next one's not going to be used okay well workstation is in R10's LAN and the Wubba Wubba server over here is in VPN1 okay I want to power them up individually shouldn't take long to power up okay so what we're going to go on first is obviously oh, do a check disk um, what we'll do here um, is we're going to go onto it. We need to set the host name, probably set the IP address and descriptions, enable SSH, uh, then set up network address translation. We'll then go on to the workstation and set the IP addresses up. And in fact, while we're playing around on here, how about we power on that particular? So just loading up the workstation in the background. And there it is. Okay. Let's log on with root and Viata. Okay, first thing, let's set up the host name. Need to go into configuration mode and set host name and which one are we on? We're on router ten. Okay, let's commit. Now to set up the IP addresses. Um, now, due to my mate Stig over at Viata, he's shown me the Cisco equivalent of do, which is run here. So show interfaces is exactly the same as then exiting out and doing it. Okay, so let's check we have these set up correctly. That one is bridged, but we want it in fact bridged to that network, I believe. Now let's just check that's the right one. Okay, so E3. E3 on uh, router 10 is going out to the internet. So let's set it up like it should be. So set interfaces, Ethernet, E3. Um, let's set the description. And we're going to call it WAN. Now we're going to set the IP address. But we're going to have it as DHCP. Now, before I hit enter, I want to can actually connect it up. Plug in the virtual cat5 if you like, and then commit it. And then within a few seconds, let's see if it's got an IP address. And there we go. It's gone out to the DHCP server and got an IP address. Good. Okay, let's see where the next one's connected. Okay, that's that is Ethernet 5 do settings on that and that's going to R10's LAN so let's configure that E5 address and it's given an address in um, R5 sorry um, router 10's LAN which is 2.1 and it's a slash 24 network and let's set the description too the description is R10 LAN and commit that as well it's now it's actually still down at the moment so let's do another show interfaces and you can see that that configuration's gone through so do connect now the next one is going to be the link between R10 and VPN1 let's just check that here yep yeah, or VPN1 R10 uh, and that'll be on E4 so set interfaces it's an Ethernet interface Ethernet 4 set the address to be 10.0.0.2 uh, slash 24 and we want to set the description uh, what is the link R10 to VPN1 we should commit that and then we'll set interfaces and there you go good okay uh, we'll save that otherwise we don't want to reboot and lose all the changes uh, the next stage is SSH. Now I'm being a bit lazy here, 
seeing as this is a lab, can be a little bit lazy, I guess. 